asleep. My goodness. Good morning. It has been a minute since I've had a bagel. She's got the cream cheese off my mouth. Good morning. It's Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sunday, June 21st. It's really early in the morning, as you can probably tell by the lighting in my bedroom. And I did not think I was going to pick up the camera or vlog, but since I'm actually doing something today, like I'm going somewhere, Target, which is really exciting because I need to get some groceries and just pick up a few things, I figured I would take you along with me. So last night was the new moon in Cancer, the solar eclipse, the dawn of the summer solstice and so i slept for maybe like three and a half hours there's just like a lot of a lot of energy i woke up at 4 a.m and i have been awake ever since i can't seem to go back to sleep so i figured i'd go ahead and start my day i can't even remember the last time i started my day at four o'clock actually i don't think i've ever started my day <laughs> at four o'clock maybe 5 a.m but definitely not 4 a.m it is so crazy to me that we are about a week away from July, from Camp NaNoWriMo, which I am participating in this year. And I've already updated my project on the NaNoWriMo website. So I'm really looking forward to getting a lot of words down. I made a lot of progress this month and last month on edits and doing a little bit of rewriting for some of my drafts for the Shadow Crown series. So the project I'm working on in July is not for the Shadow Crown series, but I'm excited nonetheless. I think, I don't know, this is a project that's just coming along really quickly. So I think this could potentially be a time where I get my highest word count of all time, like set a new record for myself. Okay, so I'm going to finish eating this bagel and schmear, bagel and schmear, who am I? <laughs> and then probably just throw some workout clothes on. I actually got dressed yesterday, which was, but I didn't go anywhere. And I'm just not in the mood to get, I don't know, maybe I will be in the mood to get dressed, but not to go to Target. I figured out that they open at 8 a.m. because pretty much like everything has reopened here and not everything, but a lot of things have reopened here in Texas, even with the pandemic and the hours have kind of gone back to normal. So they're open at 8 a.m. It's about seven o'clock in the morning right now. So like I said, I'm gonna finish up my bagel and I'm gonna be there when the doors open, yes. I have become that person. All right, quick update before I go get dressed to head to Target. I just finished editing. You can see this lovely sheet of paper with all of my little check boxes. I've been doing a lot of editing for Jaded Spring and then also going through the chapters in the fourth book and editing what I have and drafting some new things. So anyways, it feels really good to be at a point where all of those chapters are edited and I feel like it's fresh in my mind. So I'll be writing some more of book four of Shadow Crown later this evening. So I kind of have a little schedule here where if I write I'm not doing by word counts, I'm doing it by chapters because most of the Shadow Crown books are around 80 chapters, maybe a little bit more than that, like a couple chapters more. So I'm going to write by chapters and like by point of view. So I figured out that if I write two chapters a day for all of next week and the week after, I should be finally fully finished with this draft for the fourth book by July 5th. And maybe it'll be because like July 4th is on Saturday. So maybe I'll extend that a little bit, but definitely by the first to second ish week of June, that draft will be done, which is super exciting. Doing a little time check here. It is 738 and the closest target to me is about a 25 minute drive, which I know is, is just insane. So since they open at eight, I'm going to go ahead and change and head out the door. be like this when I get back. He's so tired. Why did we wake up so early? Have a good sleep. All right. 
right, let's do the pandemic checklist. I have my mask and my hand sanitizer. My mom made this for me, it's so cute. I don't know if you can really see the print, but it's so cute, it reminds me of like a little country, a little countrified mask, so yeah, good stuff. Okay, I've got my list, doing a little checklist in my head here. I have a quarter tank of gas, so I will be filling up my tank as well. Really haven't been doing much driving, so that's great. <laughs> Let's get this playlist going. Perfect. Sunglasses on. Here we go. I must have left a little later than I realized because it's 8.30, but that's fine. It still looks like it's not too busy, which is good, but there are more people here than I thought there would be. Time to put the mask on. Just go ahead and take those off. Okay, let's go into Target. disinfect, wash my hands. Ah, the pandemic. Also, I just wanna say real quick that I'm kicking myself a little bit because 99.9% .9 of the time I bring my reusable bags with me every time I go to the store and I just forgot them today. So I hate that there's all this plastic behind me. And I also really love that my camera is going out of focus right now. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. So just wanted to say that. Also just wash my hands. Now I'm gonna disinfect everything, wipe everything down with Lysol wipes, and then I will show you a couple of things that I got. Here comes my pandemic brain. <laughs> I also think that I'm going to kind of turn this vlog into a how to prep for Camp NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo and some of the things that I'm doing this month. So yeah, I just decided that right now. And I also need to check out what is going on with my camera because the focus keeps shifting. <laughs> okay, so what even is this what did i buy please ignore my capri sun like the only food items capri sun and red lobster biscuits because i'm basically six years old it's cancer season we're reverting to our childlike state i am really nurturing my inner child obviously so i got some new cleaning products method dish soap i just really liked this bottle i don't know and then I needed an all-purpose cleaner, and this one is citrus and basil. It's called Everspring. And of course, these are all like plant-based type items. I also found some laundry detergent that was plant-based. I was very surprised by that. So I also got a rolling pin. This is from the Magnolia line. I think that's what it's called at Target. And I have a couple recipes where I wanna be rolling things out. So I figured I would get a rolling pin. I also got this super cute mug. It says, see the good. Do you like how we're gonna zoom in for the pen talk, but nothing else? <laughs> so these are pilot pens. I absolutely love these. Um, I find that they're just really easy to write with. This brand, U Brands, U Eco Sustainable Writing Tools. I've never actually tried these before, but I really liked the way they looked. And it says black ink, smooth, bold, lay down. So I was just really, I really needed some new pens. I've also been going through books like a mad woman. So I picked up two that were just 20% off, super quick summer reads. I tend to read like psychological thrillers in the summer, like Gone Girl, Girl on the Train, like things that just mess with your mind a little bit. So I got Something She's Not Telling Us by Darcy Bell and The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekanen, Pekanen. I don't know. It's like the most awkward angle because I have to lean. <laughs> but I got this make your own paint pour canvas art because it comes with all the stuff. So this is like 20 bucks at Target in like the kids craft section. But I still think it can turn out really, really cool. I like this, these back ones here. Oh yeah, and then of course I got some more plants. So as you can see, my plants up here are really thriving. But this window and this window are looking a little bit sparse. 
So that's exactly why I got these little succulent looking plants. And I think I'm gonna put, I don't know where I'm gonna put that one, to be honest. I don't know. I will, maybe I'll put it up there because the, I don't really know what's happening up here. This was a cactus and then I stuck some fake foliage in it and now it's, it's like falling. Like I sit there every morning. That could very easily just fall on my head. Is anyone else super nerdy? Like the first thing you do when you come home after you buy some new pins is to try out your new pins. Here we go. <laughs> wow, I'm trying to show them my new pens. May I? Excuse me? Okay, so up top here we have the Pilot pens and you can see they're not as jelly, but I actually really like that for when I'm writing my journal. And then these U brand Eco pens are a bit more on the gel side, which I like for writing in my day planner. So all in all, I'm very happy with my new pens. Well, looks like I'm going with peanut butter bread. Super healthy today, bagel with cream cheese, bread and peanut butter. Let's talk about some Camp Nano prep. So obviously you see I've gotten some supplies, not many, just some more pens. But I always like to make sure I have notebooks, pens, printer paper, anything I could possibly need for NaNoWriMo. And it really depends on what I'm doing for that specific NaNoWriMo. So for the original version, like the one that happens every November, that's normally for writing. But Camp NaNoWriMo, which happens in April and then July, can be really a mix of anything you want. So you can either write an entire manuscript like you would in November, or you can edit a manuscript that you wrote in November, or you can do a little bit of both. You can write some, you can edit some. So really Camp NaNoWriMo is a time where you can do whatever you wanna do with your manuscripts. And so for June, I've more or less been focusing on getting the edits done, or at least doing a read through. It's more like a read through or a reread of what I've already written. But as I'm going, I'm editing and adding things in. So that way come NaNoWriMo, I'm able to continue on with the story. And I feel like it's already up here in my mind. And so the writing just comes a lot easier. That is something I always, always do the month before I'm about to start writing a draft or finish writing a draft is to make sure I review what I've already written. Or if it's a series, I make sure I review what happened in previous books in that series. I feel like I am talking with my hands a lot today. I think I always talk a lot with my hands. Another thing I like to do, obviously as a Taurus, is to make my surroundings beautiful, to really beautify them. So anywhere I write, sometimes I write in this chair, that's become, that's become a thing lately. I've also written in the bedroom, I've written on the couch, I've written in my office, I've written outside on the patio, upstairs on the little ledge area. So pretty much anywhere in my, basically I just wanna make my whole house beautiful is the point of, is the point of this point. Just changing things up a little bit and especially with the summer solstice, I wanted to just add some more decor, add some more, some more flowers, some more color. So that's another thing I like to do before, before I start writing. For me, my, the whole aesthetic and my surroundings are really, really important for me. If it's not like a vibe, it's hard for me to write, which I think is why I write so much at home because you know before the pandemic, when I used to go to Starbucks or to Barnes and Noble, I found that I could write there, like I could get into the groove of things, especially if I was able to find a little area that was tucked away somewhere and wasn't like in the Starbucks cafe, you know, in Barnes and Noble, where I could look out the window or I could just be surrounded by bookshelves. But I also found I didn't write as much there. I think it just wasn't fully comfortable, like the seats aren't really all that comfortable. So yeah, it's a really long winded way of saying that the vibe, the aesthetic, me being comfortable and cozy and just feeling really welcomed and embraced by my surroundings is really important to me as a writer. I want to know, is that important to you or can you write anywhere? Like, could you just take your laptop on your, you know, in your driveway and just start banging out the words? Cause if so, kudos to you. So maybe I'll grab my laptop and figure out a, a situation or maybe I'll plant my flowers first. I don't know. So many decisions.
another quarantine outfit. <laughs> okay, it might be 95 degrees outside, but in my house, it's a little bit on the chilly side. Somehow my camera got switched to a different mode, so it was not focusing. It kept focusing on the bookshelves behind me. So this is like the fourth time that I filmed this clip, but it's finally working. Anywho, like I said, which you haven't heard me say yet, I feel like it should be seven o'clock in the evening since I've been up since 4 a.m. But I wanted to show you guys this super cute little necklace. It's a little book. Isn't that so cute? I got this last year when I was at BookCon from the New York Public Library. They had this whole little showcase, I guess you could say, where a bunch of artists from the area, local artists, had little, or like artisans, had their little shops and, and booths and things set up. But I saw this little book necklace and I was like, I must have that. And I totally forgot about it because I haven't worn it since last year when I was at BookCon. So I edited this morning and I have two chapters that I wanna write today. So I think I'm gonna break this up. Well, kind of depends how things go. If things are really moving during this writing session, then I'll probably just knock out both chapters and then write for a different project later this evening. <laughs> Oh, do we see it's getting darker? I literally asked this morning, I was like, please rain, please rain. I just want a day to write, like an afternoon to write when it's raining. I just want that whole vibe. And I'm gonna go outside and show you this massive storm cloud that is rolling in. Ooh, do you see that? Seriously, I need to turn the brightness factor off so you guys can actually see. That is really dark. It is a deep, deep gray. And just like that, I literally just came back inside. Holy crap, okay, good thing I came indoors. Um, we're definitely in the middle of hurricane season, so that's great. I just want you guys to hear this. This is next level. Oh my gosh, the lake is white capping too. I feel really bad for anyone who is out on the lake right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not okay. So earlier we talked about rereading or reviewing whatever it is you've written so far for a current draft or maybe for a series. And so for me, that's really key because then I'm in the whole vibe of it. I'm in the whole, the whole world. And so it makes it so much easier for me to write new chapters. I've also been timing myself with the Forest app and now I only use that app for writing. So it's really cool about it is that if you only use it for writing, you can see what your forest, because it grows little trees for however long you stay focused, you can actually see your little forest for the day, for the month, for the week, for the year, and that's just like a cool thing to see how many times you've stayed focused and how many times you've written based on the number of trees and bushes in your forest. So I've been using the forest app solely for writing and it's really become a prompt for me or more of a trigger that once I open that app, immediately because I've done it so many times, my mind goes into, okay, writing mode, time to focus. For the Shadow Crown series specifically, I have been writing for the characters in a row. So I won't go like Arden's point of view and then Raiden's point of view and then Darius's point of view. I'll do, you know, three chapters for Arden and then I'll kind of come to a stopping point and then I'll write the next three chapters for Raiden. And so that way I stay in that character's headspace a little bit longer. And again, that just helps me stay in the vibe of it. It helps me know what it is I'm going to write next or it makes it easier for me to think of the next scene, the next conflict, 
the next chapter and whatever is going to happen. And as I do every time, I am about to start on a new draft of a manuscript. I have my Write 50K in 30 Days course material all laid out right in front of me because that is what I use to really outline and organize my books. Which, by the way, that sale ends on June 30th, just right before we head into Camp NaNoWriMo in July. So make sure you take advantage of that. You can check out the link in the description box below. You can also go to kristenmartinbooks.com slash 50k 30 days. Another thing I found really helpful is to keep a handwritten calendar next to me with my goals for that day. So I'm someone when I use my planner, I like for it to be what's actually happened or how many words I wrote for that day. So I don't like to write in something that hasn't actually happened yet because then I feel like it's not an accurate representation of my day. So I've been using just a normal sheet of printer paper and I'll draw some lines on it and basically make a calendar for the month. You can probably hear the thunder in the background. But for some reason, when I have that piece of paper in front of me, with my month calendar, and it's specifically just for writing, I'm able to plan out or see what it would look like if I wrote this many words one day and this many words another day, or if I did it by chapters. And then I can actually see how long it's going to take me to get to the end result. And I don't know what it is, I don't know why I haven't really done this before, but just seeing that bird's eye view makes it feel so much more I don't know, there's so much more accountability because I write down what I want to do and so then I look at the calendar, just my sheet of paper, and when I finish my writing or editing for that day, then I'll mark it off on the calendar. And there's so much satisfaction in marking off and ticking off that little box. So it really keeps me accountable. It makes me want to keep going. And when I wake up in the morning, I know exactly what I need to focus on. That's the biggest thing. If you don't, if you don't have a plan in place, if you don't even know where you're starting, it's really daunting to sit down and start writing some words because you don't know what you're writing. So at least this way you have some sort of plan, even if it's not something super in depth and concrete. So I am going to go make myself a cup of decaf coffee because I really do believe, I don't know how there's just thunder and lightning and no rain right now, but I don't wanna miss it. Sit on the patio and watch the rain. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Okay, so if I'm being totally honest, I don't know how long this rain is going to last and I really want to soak it up for all it's worth and get as many words down as possible. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm sure I got plenty of B-roll, plenty of good stuff. But if you like today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. For information on my books, programs, courses, and so much more, make sure to check out all of the information in the description box below. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see you in my next video.